Hello and welcome to the 2022 Senate elections. We have multiple retirees as term limits were passed not too long ago, and this will be the first Senate election where term limits apply. It's now 7 p.m. and the fallen states have poll closings. In the Georgia Senate election, Senate race, it is too close to call. Senator Warnock is leading over former Congressman Doug Collins. Todd Young is is the projected winner in the Indiana Senate race, winning his second term in office, defeating Joe Hoxett. Rand Paul has been re-elected uh, to a third term in the, in the Senate, defeating Rocky Atkins. Tim Scott has been re-elected to a second term, defeating Joe Cunningham in South Carolina. The Vermont Senate, Patrick Leahy, has had to retire due to term limits, but... Becky Belint has been elected to the Senate, defeating Randy Brock. It is now 7.30 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. North Carolina, too close to call. Richard Burr retiring, also due to term limits. But uh, Laura Trump is leading over Jeff Jackson currently. In the Ohio Senate race, too close to call. Rob Portman retiring, also po term limits. Uh, Josh Mandel currently leading over Tim Ryan. In the Georgia Senate race, still too close to call, Doug Collins now leading over Raphael Warnock. It is now 8 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. In the Alabama Senate race, Mo Brooks has won his first term defeating Terry Sewell. Uh, Richard Shelby had to retire, uh, chose to retire, but, before, but afterwards it was term limits, of course. In the Connecticut Senate race, Richard Blumenthal defeating Dan Carter to win his third term in the Senate. The Florida Senate race, too close to call, Marco Rubio leading over Charlie Crist. Illinois Senate race, Tammy Duckworth has won re-election to a second term, defeating Bill Brady. In the Maryland Senate race, too close to call, Chris Van Hollen currently leading over Larry Hogan. In the Missouri Senate race, Roy Blunt has won his third term to the Senate, defeating Tr Chris Coster. In the New Hampshire Senate race, too close to call Maggie Hassan currently leading over Chris Sununu. In the Oklahoma Senate race, James Lankford has been re-elected to a third term, defeating Dan Boren. In the Pennsylvania Senate race, too close to call. Uh, this was Pat Toomey's seat before he chose to retire, but John Fetterman is currently leading over Everett Stern. In the Georgia Senate race, we now have a call as Doug Collins has won his first term to the Senate, defeating Rafael Warnock. This is a gain for Republicans, the first gain out of a projected many. In the North Carolina Senate race, still too close to call, Laura Trump still leading over Jeff Jackson. In the Ohio Senate race, too close to call, Josh Mandel still leading over Tim Ryan. It is now 8.30 and the following states have poll closings. John Boozman has been uh, re-elected to a third term, defeating Connor Eldridge. This will be his final term in the Senate. We now have a call out of North Carolina as Laura Trump has won her first term in the Senate, defeating Jeff Jackson. The same. We have an, a call for Ohio, which Josh Mandel has been elected to his first term, defeating Tim Ryan. In the Florida Senate race, still too close to call. Marco Rubio still leading over Charlie Crist. Out of the Maryland Senate race, too close to call. Larry Hogan now leading over Chris Van Hollen. Out of New Hampshire, sen out of the New Hampshire Senate race, Chris Sununu is now leading over Maggie Hassan. Out of the Pennsylvania Senate race, still too close to call. As John Fetterman is leading over Everett Stern is still. It is now 9 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of the Arizona Center race, too close to call is Mark Kelly is leading over Paul Goser. Out of the Colorado Center race, too close to call is Michael Bennett is leading over Eli Bremer. Out of the Kansas Center race, Jerry Morin has been elected to a third term, defeating Sheriff Davids. Out of the Louisiana Center race, uh, John Kennedy has been elected to a second term, defeating Dan Kazayukes. At the New York Senate race, after, after winning the primary, Chuck Schumer had to retire due to term limits, but Chelsea Clinton has won her first term to the Senate, defeating Richard Hanna. At the North Dakota Senate race, John Hoven has won his third term to the Senate, defeating Tracy Potter. At the South Dakota Senate seat, John Thune had to retire due to term limits, but uh, Christy Noem has won her first term to the Senate, defeating Billy Sutton. At the Wisconsin Senate race, it's too close to call. Ron Johnson is currently leading over Tom Nelson. 
out of the Maryland Center race, uh, we now have a call as Larry Hogan has defeated Chris Van Hollen, which is the second gain for Republicans. We also have a gain, a gain out of New Hampshire as Chris Sununu has defeated Maggie Hassan for another gain for Republicans in the Senate. Out of the Pennsylvania Senate race, uh, John Fetterman, this is a gain for Democrats as Fetterman has flipped Pennsylvania blue as he defeated Everett Stern. Out of the Florida Senate race, too close to call, Charlie Chris now leading over Marco Rubio. It is now 10 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of the Iowa Senate race, this is Chuck Grassley seed, though he had to retire due to term limits as uh, Jim Carlin is now leading over Sidney Axney. Out of the Nevada Center race, two close to call, Catherine Cortez Mosto is leading over Adam Lexalt. Out of the Utah Center race, Mike Lee has won his third term to the Senate, defeating Ben McAdams. Out of the Colorado Center race, we now have a call as Michael Bennett has won his third term to the Senate, defeating Eli Bremer. Out of the Arizona Center race, too close to call as Paul Gosar is now leading over Mark Kelly. The Wisconsin Center race, still too close to call. Ron Johnson still leading over Tom Nelson. Out of the Florida Center race, too close to call. Charlie Chris still leading over Marco Rubio. It is now 11 p.m. and the following states have poll closings. Out of California, Alex Padilla has won his first full term to the Senate, defeating Jerome Horton, a fellow Democrat. Out of the Y Center race, Brian Schatz has won his second full term, defeating John Carroll. Out of the Idaho Center race, this was Mike Crapo's seat before he had to retire, but Russ Fulcher has defeated Larry LaRocco to win his first full term to the Senate. Out of the Oregon Center race, this was Ron Wyden's seat, though he had to retire because of term limits, though Peter DeFazio has been elected to his first full term in the Senate, defeating Joe Ray Perkins very easily. Out of the Washington Center race, this was Patty Murray's seat, again, retiring due to the term limits, as Jay Inslee defeated Bill Bryant to his first term in the Senate. We now have a call out of Iowa as Jim Carlin has won his first term to the Senate, defeating Cindy Axney. Out of Nevada, Catherine Cortez Mosto has won her second, her second term in the Senate, defeating Adam Lexalt. Out of Wisconsin, Ron Johnson has won his third term to the Senate, defeating Tom Nelson. Out of the Arizona Senate race, still too close to call as Paul Grosser is still leading over Mark Kelly. Florida Senate race, still too close to call. Charlie Crist is leading over Marco Rubio still. It is now 1 a.m. and the following states have poll closings. Sarah Palin has won her first term of the Senate. Lisa Murkowski had to retire due to term limits, but Sarah Palin has defeated former Senator Mark Begich to uh, win her first term in the Senate. And we now have a call as the Senate majority will go to the Republican Party as they will make a net gain of two. We can project the Republican Party has taken back the majority in the Senate. Out of the, we now have a call for Arizona as Paul Gosar is the projected winner, defeating Mark Kelly, another gain for the Republican Party. Out of the Florida Senate race, Charlie Crist has won his first term of the Senate, defeating Marco Rubio, uh, preventing him from winning a third term of the Senate. Charlie Crist has won his first term to the Senate. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Catechist saying, peace.